Hello and welcome to this third concept video of time, speed and distance. In this video, I'll cover the important concept of races. We'll also touch upon average speed, which is a very simple concept. Talking about the first concept, that is the concept of races. I have seen a lot of students really fearful of this uh, particular question type. I think the reason is largely because they don't understand some of the jargons or the terminology that is used in races questions. So I'll cover all of that and we'll also practice a few questions. So by the end of this video, you will feel confident to attack any problem on races and you'll also understand the concept of average speed. So let's get started. First things first, so I'll first like to focus on the concept of uh, races and in this the basic terminology. So let's imagine that there is a 100 meters race and let's say A and B are participating in this race. Now in the questions, basic terminologies you need to understand before you attempt these questions. So one is, and this is all common sense, would be what is the starting point? right so if somebody starts from the starting point this is the starting point right where the race starts from second there could be a concept of finishing point now what is the finishing point again common sense very very easy you know where the race finishes that's your finishing point third is an important one which we, i have seen a lot of people confused so sometimes the examination uh, setter may also give something like the race ends as a dead heat race. What does this mean? Now, this means if two or more people are running in that race, let's say A and B, if both take the same amount of time to finish the race, that means if A and B finish the race in the same time and there is no clear winner, that is the case of a dead heat race. So don't get scared if you see this in the question. Two important concepts. One, they say Sometimes statements like A gives B a start of either they can say it as let's say in terms of distance they will say A gives B a start of 10 meters. This could be one question or they can say A gives B a start of whatever 5 seconds or 10 seconds whatever it is. So let's look at the first one 10 meters what this means. This means in this race where A starts running, A will give B a start of 10 meters would mean that A will tell B saying that, hey, B, you can start running from here. That means A has to run from the starting point, obviously. So A would cover how much distance? A has to cover this entire race, whereas B has to only cover this race because 10 meters he's got an advantage of. So he will have to cover only 90 meters. This is what it means when we say a gives B a start of 10 meters. Similarly, in time as well, if say if we say A gives B a start of 5 seconds, this means that A and B, if let's say A starts running at X uh, hour, right, X hour, B will uh, start running 5 seconds early. That means it will run for 5 seconds, right, and then uh, it will start running. So, if he starts running at x, b would run at x minus 5 seconds. This is what uh, this means. Now, last statement that you will see is if it says a defeats b by let's say 25 meters, what this means. So that means in this race, if a and b both are running, a defeats, let's say if it's a 100 meters race, let's assume for example. So by the time A finishes the race, B is yet to cover 25 meters. Always remember B, not A. A defeats B, that means A has already completed the race and B is yet to cover 25 meters and then he'll finish the race. Or if they say A defeats B, now another variant of this would be again like previous statement by let's say 5 seconds. What would this mean? By the time A would finish the race, right? By the time A would finish the race, B will take five seconds more to finish the race. That means he is behind A and will take five seconds more to finish the race. So these are only four or five concepts that you will see with respect to races. Let's attempt a few questions now to further this understanding. Now, 
we have a very simple question and it says in a race of 100 meters okay so let's assume this is a rate of 100 meters and in this race kabir beats rohan by 25 meters kabir that means kabir beats rohan so kabir is ahead kabir beats rohan by 25 meters that means rohan is yet to cover 25 more meters correct or 5 seconds that means or kabir has completed the race at let's say n second right at nth second and kabir rohan will take 5 more seconds to cover the remaining distance now one thing that is very important to note here is we now know that rohan either will take 5 more seconds or will take cover 25 more minutes that means can we not calculate rohan's speed easily we can calculate rohan's speed right so rohan's speed would be how much rohan's speed would be 25 meters upon 5 seconds isn't it because if these two things are equal that means he will take 25 he has to cover 25 meters in 5 seconds that means his speed is 5 meters per second now also we know the distance so that means in terms of distance where Kabir covers how much Kabir covers 100 meters in the same time Rohan has covered how much distance Rohan has covered 75 meters when Kabir has covered 100 meters what would this mean that means this is the ratio of the distance isn't it that means the ratio of speed would also be equal so we understood the concept of proportionality in the previous video that means speed of Kabir right uh, versus speed of Rohan we can also calculate is how much would be 4 is to 3 right now the question is what is the speed of Kabir if I know speed of Kabir upon speed of Rohan equals to 4 by 3 and I also know uh, that means speed of Kabir equals to 4 by 3 of speed of Rohan and speed of Rohan is already given we have already calculated 5 meters so this would be 5 meters per second so this would be 4 5 20 upon 3 meters per second so that means your answer fourth okay now let's look at another question it says Arvind defeats Dikshant by 40 meters or 5 seconds again this is something that we understood from the last chapter only uh, sorry last question only Arvind defeats Dikshant by 40 meters or 5 seconds what this means if Arvind has already finished Dikshant would be somewhere behind and Dikshant would take 40 meters more or would take 5 seconds more to cover uh, to finish the race this means what this means Dikshant speed is 40 upon 5 equals to 8 meters per second this is easy we've just learned from the previous question now they're saying if Arvind took 20 seconds to complete the race if Arvind took 20 seconds imagine now you are already given time taken by Arvind is 20 seconds and we already know that Arvind defeats Dikshant by 5 seconds that means time taken would be Dikshant by 5 seconds more that means Dikshant will take how much Dikshant will take 25 seconds and we also know the speed of Dikshant here this is the speed of uh, uh, Dikshant correct uh, isn't it so speed of Dikshant also we know is 8 meters per second so now the question is what is the length of the race come on time taken by Dikshant is given speed taken by Dikshant is given so you can calculate this 25 into 8 which is your uh, total distance distance equals to time into speed and this comes to 200 meters so very very simple right we will mark option 3 let's move to the last question on uh, this uh, race questions in a 100 meter race a gives b a start of 10 meters okay let's say in this 100 meter race there is a there is b a gives b that okay so b will start running from here whereas a starts running from the starting point okay and it becomes a dead heat race okay so that means distance of a and distance of b is also given that means in the same time if time is constant distance that a will cover is how much a will cover 100 
and B will cover how much? Will cover 90 because it is a dead heat race. That means they both finished at the same time the race. And this one already had a head start of 10 meters. So this means what DA is to DB we know, right? And from this we can also calculate speed of A uh, is to speed of B, which would also be in the same ratio. That means this would be 10 is to 9. Now they are saying if A's speed is 20 meters, what is the speed of B? Okay, now we know if they are saying if A speed, A speed is 20 meters. This is we are saying 10 is to 9. This is we are saying 10, but it is actually 20. That means you have a multiplying factor of 2. If in a ratio you multiply here by something, you will have to multiply here also by the same thing. That means if this is 20, which is A speed, how much would be B speed? This would be 18. So this is your answer and this is what is asked. So 18 meters per second. So extremely simple. So now we are confident with the concept of races and we have also attempted a few questions. Before we close this video, we'll quickly take a look at this concept of average speed. This is extremely easy. Now I have already told you in the first video that speed is what? Speed is nothing but distance upon time. So in this case, extending the same logic, your average speed formula is also total distance upon total time. Now, please be careful here because what the reason I'm covering this very easy concept is that sometimes they say, a has covered a distance of x at 40 kilometers per hour and y at uh, 60 kilometers per hour and I have seen people taking the average of that speed that is the wrong, wrong formula. So that's not how you do it. How you go about this question is you will put it in the same formula. So that means if let's say we have A who is covering let's say a distance of D1 at speed of s1 kilometer per hour right and he is also covering a distance the remaining distance of d2 at s2 kilometer per hour so if i have to calculate the average speed the formula would be very very simple that means total distance which is d1 plus d2 upon total time so time taken in the first instance would be d1 upon s1 plus in the total distance remaining distance he covered by d2 speed so this is the formula of average speed that you have to keep in mind however a special case of this could be if let's say they are saying they are covering a uh, let's say case of equal distance so you can see this that means if your d1 and d2 is same so this is very simple this would become d plus d upon d by s1 plus d upon s2 or this would be 2d upon and here let's say you take the lcm this is s1 s2 is the lcm divided by s1 s2 so this is d s2 plus d s1 so if you take the d common you will come to 2 s1 s2 upon s1 plus s2 so that means you can simplify it if the distance they are covering is equal so this is a very simple concept of average speed so let's apply it in a question so they are saying what is the average speed of Tyrion if he traveled half the distance at 60 kilometers per hour and the remaining distance at 40 kilometers per hour so either you can assume an LCM as the distance and do it by that method or you can say okay this is half the distance so let's say this is d1 and this is also d1 because distance is same here the speed is 60 km per hour and here the speed is 40 km per hour so we will put it in the same formula that is total distance upon total time that means d1 plus d1 upon d1 by 60 or we also looked in this formula the simplified version of average speed formula when they covered the same distance this distance is equal to this distance that means it would be 2 into 
speed of the first time which is 60 speed of the another time which is 40 right 2 s1 s2 upon s1 plus s2 which is 60 plus 40 so how much would be this 6 into 4 24 into 2 4800 4800 upon 100 right so this becomes your 48 kilometer per hour so this will take 5 seconds but a lot of people are tempted to do what they will do 60 plus 40 by 2 and which is your 50 which is the absolutely wrong uh, way to do it so please be careful around this question this is very simple either you can put that entire formula and then you will see this or you can directly remember the formula which is average speed is 2 s1 into s2 upon s1 plus s2 if the distance they are covering is equal so we close the video here and i hope you are now confident to tackle questions on races and also have learned the concept of average speed